Hi, I'm Angela Stribling for Capital Jazz Fest here with Boney James. Hi. Hi. Good Welcome to be here. Back. Thank you. Thanks so much. It's been too long. It's been too long. Why has it been so long? I don't really You're know. You're too busy for us now. I'm glad you yeah, decided to. Yeah, I think to... it's been six or seven years since oh. we've done the festival, although we did the cruise once in the interim, and then we've been in the area, but just never here. I was amazed to see the backstage. It's all done up now. Never better post. It's, it's a whole new Nothing game. stays the same. Yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. So, all right. Every Boney James concert, it's full of energy and the dancing. <laughs> Everybody's like, what? Go Boney! Go yes. Boney! So when did the dancing start? Oh, I, I've always been sort of grooving around on stage, you know, and uh, it's just something that happens to me when the music starts. You know, I can't really stop myself from moving. Don't. And I'm not really like that in, in life. You know, I'm sort of more chill. You're but chill. when the music starts, I just start dancing around, and the crowds respond to that. So that probably spurs me on. Isn't that a beautiful more. thing? Yeah, it's, it's magic. Because you're right. When you're performing, the audience, I think, you know, because of your demeanor, you've got this sweet face, and people kind of feel like, you know, he's mine. They're mm. with you. They're well, with you. you the whole time. Well, I feel the same way towards them, you know. It's it's definitely a, a communal experience putting on a show. Yeah. The crowd is more than half of it as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. So I can see it's that. It's an amazing thing. I can definitely see that. You've got some good music. You are one who collaborates with these amazing artists. Um, if I Can't Hold You with Eric Roberson, mm. tell me about that song. Well, that was a song that I had actually written, and I wrote the melody, and I, sometimes I'll write a song and uh, originally thinking I will play it on the saxophone, and it just doesn't work when I play the horn, and I think, well, maybe it's a vocal. So mm. Eric Roberson I had met, we'd run into each other at a festival, and it just popped into my head to maybe send it to him and see if he vibed it. I love and, yeah. what you guys did. with He, it he, even he wrote these something. lyrics that really, you know, elevated it to a whole nother level, mm. but you know, I sent him my demo of me singing this melody, which is... Brave. <laughs> Brave. No, yeah. I'm not going to yeah, say that. Yeah, but he's, he's an amazing talent, and I, I'm just so proud of what we created. Yeah, he's amazing. But what's interesting, I guess it depends on the song and how you're going to interpret it, but I love the way he's singing mm. that song. It's different from his normal singing. Well, yeah, because probably because it's my melody, you know, mm. and so that's the great thing about collaboration is you create something that wouldn't have existed that's right. otherwise, you know, and I know that he recorded it mainly late at night because he had young children. I think he had a brand new baby at the yeah. time, so he could only work very late at night, and maybe that's part of the vibe as yeah, well. Yeah, it's very sexy. Eric's got that late night vibe on it. He's I a very cool it. cat, yeah. And so brilliantly talented. Yes. One of his shows, I don't know if you ever caught uh, one of Eric's shows where he's getting people to shout out yes, different words yes. and create a song. Yeah. He does that every time. Yeah, every the, time, yes, yeah, awesome. That. So it's amazing that he can then sit down and actually write you know, a song as well. You know, that's, that's the same muscle, I guess. Yeah, and another artist you collaborated with, Avery Sunshine. Avery Sunshine, yeah, she wrote the title track of my new record, Honestly, which just came out last year. Yeah, and, uh, congratulations. Still, thank you, yeah, still riding high on the chart, which is amazing. Congratulations. And both of those singers, Avery and, and Eric, had just been on my list of singers I wanted mm. to collaborate with, so as always, I was just grateful they knew who I was and like <laughs> were interested in and working together. And, and uh, she wrote what became the title track of the record, you know, which mm. is so, what a, such a great work honestly to embody what I think the record stands for in this day and age. Beautiful. Yeah. So I know that you're touring around quite a bit and I'm glad that you come back here to the Capital Jazz Fest pretty often but you know like you said it's been a while so yeah. I'm really glad that you're back. You're gonna hit the stage in just a little while. Yeah. Anything different that I mean of course you're gonna be singing I mean performing songs from Honestly. Yeah. What can we expect? Well yeah the show is gonna feature a lot of songs from the new record Honestly that the crowd hasn't heard us play and um, and then try and play everyone's favorites from my other records. You know, I've got 16 records now, so when we only have an hour set, it's really hard to winnow that down to what the perfect set's going to be. So. so what does that look like, Boney, when you're like, you're saying, okay, we're going to play this set, you know, you've got what, just 90 minutes or yeah, I don't know, I how long we've been an hour tonight. So. An hour. Yeah. So what determines which songs you're going to perform? You know, you just got to hope for inspiration. It's like writing a song or making a record, you know, you just wait for something to strike you as the right decision and hope that hope for the best. I love it. I love it. You're rocking the hat as usual. You know, I've always wanted to know, 
When did this, when did the hat become your signature? You know, it was sort of an evolution. When I first started, I didn't have the hat, and I had very long hair when very I first long. I remember. started. You know, so I think it was the, f the first reason I put on a hat was I was playing festivals outside, and this hair would go in my face when I was, and get hair in my mouth when I'm playing my saxophone. So I started with a beret just to keep my hair out of my face. I remember the beret. And then I came across this pork pie hat like, like uh, Marcus wears, and I put that on for a few years. And as soon as I started putting hats on, people just say, you look cool in a hat. It's so a good look. I responded to the positive feedback. I love like it. Keep it going. Can't wait to hear your show. Welcome back. Thank so you. Glad that Great you're to here. see you too. Keep doing what you're doing. I promise. Okay, good. Boney James and Angela Stribling for Capital Jazz TV. Hey, this is Boney James and you're watching Capital Jazz TV.